deep in the mountains of Luzon in the northern Philippines live the Eta, the oldest tribe in the country. They farmed and hunted in these lands for thousands of years with little change. Now the tribe has a new hero. Sita Diaz doesn't know how to read or write, but the one shy grandmother of 10 is now called the engineer, the bringer of light. It gets very dark here in the mountains, so it's good we have found something like this to help us help the others. Diaz has just come back from India with three other Eta women. They were part of a group of similar women from around the world who were invited by a special college to learn how to harness solar energy and build their own lamps and battery panels. We couldn't understand each other, so we had to do everything through sign language. After six months away, they returned to their community to share what they've learned. It's villages like this that the lighting project aims to help. Isolated, impoverished and without access to basic services. The thinking is, empowering women will eventually empower a community. The ETA have always been known for their fire-making abilities. Now Magda Salvador, another newly trained engineer, says she's happy she can also make fire of a different kind. <laughs> When there is light, there will certainly be joy all around us. The Eta still call this new arrival fire. They're not sure how much this will change them exactly, but they know it will transform the future of their tribe. Marga Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Tarlac, Northern Philippines.